So how to use the pose controls. Uh, when you have a character selected, you can create a pose with this icon, the plus. Maybe rename it uh, like a player salt idol. So you have a thumbnail. And you can always update both the pose and the thumbnail by pressing this icon. So if now my pose is more like this, I can update that oh, without the gizmo. So maybe my character is here and I want to apply the idle pose. Uh, if you select the hips, the problem is it's going to apply the pose relative to that object. So when I apply, uh, maybe I'm going to get some weird rotation, like my, my root has some uh, some rotation on Y. I think it's better to always apply uh, by selecting the roots. This way, uh, if you need the character to move forward a certain amount, a precise value, and on just one axis, you can select the root and apply the pose here. So you can apply the pose on the base layer or on the animation layer, of course. And if you want to apply the pose um, exactly where it was stored, you can ignore the translation and rotation. Now it's going to snap to the origin because that's where my character was when I stored the pose. If you want to apply the pose with uh, some vertical offset, maybe you work on some jumping or falling system. Uh, if you're just like this and you apply the pose, it's going to snap back to the floor. So you need to uh, ignore the gravity and you can apply now with some uh, vertical translation. And you can apply the pose per body part. So if I have my A pose here and I want to just uh, apply the sword pose, I can select my fingers and be in body part and just apply it. So now I just have my uh, sword holding pose. And you can also apply the pose on the character extension because character extensions just work like body parts. Uh, so here if I double click, my weapon will be positioned relative to the hand. Uh, sometimes when you apply poses to character extensions, they may pop uh, somewhere uh, that you don't expect. That may be because here in the properties of the character extension, the reference objects isn't set up uh, properly. Uh, if that happens, you can always apply the pose in full body temporarily without auto key. So you're sure that all the objects are uh, well positioned relative to each other, like the, the weapons well positioned relative to the hand and you just key that body part. Now when you move the slider and come back, uh, the weapon is uh, properly placed. And if you have finger poses, so what I mean by finger poses is just, you don't store a pose just for the fingers, but you can decide to apply it just on the finger. So usually I, when I start on a character, I, I store a lot of uh, poses like finger uh, fists or uh, pointing fingers or uh, fingers uh, spreading, things like that. So you can always apply those fingers in mirror. Uh, so on that pose, I could decide to apply uh, this pose here from the right hand on the left hand. So I just click here M as mirror and I can apply the pose. You can store pose for characters, but you can also store them for single objects. So my cylinder is going up and then I want it to come back down at the end. I can disable all the translation and just apply it in one block. Uh, 